Uh, Export is a company which uh, help businesses not to lose the money when uh, exchange rates fluctuate strongly. Uh, we are very close to, to, to the issue, to the, to the risk, uh, because the, the, the most important moment, in our opinion, is when this exchange rate risk born uh, and what is the value of the risk. Well, hello everyone, my name is Agata Walendowska and here we are in Startup Stories podcast where we talk about startups and what made them work. Today my special guest is Robert Tarantowicz, CEO and founder of Xchurch Startup, which creates an application that prevents companies from losing their money. So hello Robert, how are you today? Hello, good afternoon. I'm very well. Today is the first day uh, with the sun in my neighborhood. That's pleasure. <laughs> So that's great. Thank you for being here and uh, for being our guest at Startup Stories podcast. So I think that we can start with the first question. What does Xchurch Startup do? Uh, Xcourt is a company which uh, help businesses not to lose the money when uh, exchange rates fluctuate strongly. Uh, Xcourt supports uh, currency position managing in these businesses with its services. Okay, I, so I think that's very clear because uh, every every single single word uh, is important. <laughs> okay, not I see. Prevent, pre prevent, not prevent, not to lose the money when exchange rate flu exchange rates fluctuate strongly. That's the that's the key. Okay, so um, question to uh, that exchange rate risk. What uh, what is that? Exchange rate uh, means that it's impossible to predict how foreign uh, car foreign. Uh, money will behave over a certain period of time. It means that today, uh, let's get uh, some example. Uh, invoice value is approximately 100,000 USD. Uh, if we calculate uh, this value to Polish water and use current exchange rate, uh, it will be some value. But after 30 days, this value will be a bit different and uh, exchange rate risk is this change this change between some start point and end point and uh, of course this exchange rate risk borders borders uh, the profit the, the the profit the total profit of some some value some uh, some profit some some invoice value some purchasing order depends depends on the business depends on the on the model and that's the okay. that's the exchange rate risk that we don't know what will happen in 30 days with exchange rate from today to uh, to, uh, to from today after 30 days Okay, so how does your startup work to prevent that exchange rate risk? Uh, the, 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 my startup uh, offer the, the services, uh, classic services like consultancy, consultancy ser services, but such as the software uh, to, to manage currency position in a company. Currency position is the, is the issue uh, related to the company which uh, have international turnover and uh, this kind of company has to make exchanges, exchanges the, the, the currencies. And uh, my startup offer the services how to systematize the process and how to manage the currency position perfect way to not to lose, lose the money to identify uh, we help to uh, we help I to identify the risk model the calculate the value of the risk and prepare some kind of policy how we how the company can be safe and our services based are on all process from the beginning of the risk to the close of the risk okay i see so um can you, if you, 
have to sum up what your startup do and what sets apart you from the other similar solution uh, in the market or from your competition. So uh, what would you say? Uh, we are very close to, to, to the issue, to the, to the risk, uh, because the, the, the most important moment, in our opinion, is when this exchange rate risk born uh, and what is the value of the risk. Uh, that's the that's the key point in this in this process. Uh, imagine uh, if we compare uh, typical CFO who has to manage the the exchange rate risk uh, and investor who invest the money and uh, and speculate some way uh, on the exchange rate risk changes. Uh, this is very similar activities. Uh, bec- but in the first uh, in the first leg in the first area this is business model this risk born in a business model but in the second in the second area this is uh, this is investment uh, investment activity uh, the, the target of of this activity is to get the uh, the profit from uh, exchange rate fluctuation but in a first area this is natural and this is from business model and where is the difference between us and other companies we are very close to the first issue when exchange rate risk start not only what is happening on the market with exchange rate uh, with exchange rates and that's the that's the key difference because we are much more than cfo uh, than typical car, uh, typical forex investor Okay, so when the, our listeners know what you do and what sets you apart from other competition, I would like to know how does your application work? What does it give to clients that use your services? Uh, it, uh, from user perspective, is very simple <laughs> because every day uh, he he get a not- notification about about the the ca- open currency position and the results. Uh, of uh, of of all of all global uh, currency position it means that i can get every day information about that okay uh, i i scheduled to to uh, to to earn some kind of some kind of money and looking for the exchange rate risk and fluctuations i got a bit more that's my additional result but open currency position is the value uh, is the value what what i need to decide if i want to be safe and save this kind of uh, this kind of value this kind of position or maybe play with the market still and uh, application show me the actual status every day uh, and i can go through to the to the application and see in real time how the digits are changing and i can i can uh, decide about about use about using the financial instruments to save the risk okay so it's very useful and it's very helpful for people who run the business and take care of some things uh, abroad and need uh, for example changing their money so uh, your app can be also used by importers and exporters yep. and uh, are there any differences in the app depending on whether you are importer or import, uh, importer uh, there is there is no difference between of course the difference is in a, the difference is uh, in a business model because in, if we are if we have the short position if we have to buy the currency we are importers uh, but if we have long position we are usually exporters uh, exporter and we have to and we have to do similar activities uh, in first case we have to buy the currency in second we have to sell the uh, the the currency uh, it dip- of course the application is configurable and we can uh, we can set up the application uh, depending on the direction depending on on uh, on model of of the company 
Okay, I see. And uh, I think the one of the most important uh, matters that I want to talk to you is how do you ensure the uh, security and the reliability of exchange services? Because you're taking care of sensitive financial data. So how you take care of these two aspects? Yeah, that's very, that's very, very important. Uh, why? Because uh, we see all turnover in the in the company and uh, our application uh, <laughs> our application can support a lot of customers and a lot of a lot of companies and first uh, first issue is a uh, separation of the data and we 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 focus a lot on this issue to to don't mix this data. <laughs> of course, I, I maybe maybe I'm talking a bit a bit a bit a bit funny uh, that uh, we we are focused on we we have to prevent that data will not mixed. But this is this is uh, this is simple. I think to to understand that this is some kind of fundament of this of this application and the most important thing. Uh, that's the that's the first issue. The second issue is uh, is uh, mm, name of the partners uh, because we if we are talking about uh, about purchasing invoices or safety invoices or orders or or inquiries, this is the data where usually we're almost always we can see what is the name of the partner we can uh, we can aggregate the data to the to the to the some partner and of course we can see uh, what kind of values uh, has some some business partner of our customer uh, we don't do it uh, we only get the digits uh, the digits without the names of the of the partners and uh, in my opinion this is uh, guarantee this is some kind of guarantee that uh, we don't see the the real business business model and list of the partners and the the, the secret of the of the of the business because uh, in my opinion the list of the partners are some kind of secret uh, secret of the partners this is this is very very important data uh, and uh, and we don't need it to to calculate the exchange rate risk uh, that's the that's the uh, second issue and the third issue uh, about uh, about security is uh, i can use i think the the technical language uh, this uh, this is sums of 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 the values uh, i understand that uh, customer has to be sure that the total values is uh, related to to his values and we don't have some kind of uh, misunderstandings here that the application show that uh, that our open currency position is 100000 but if customers see uh, open invoices in his ERP system, the value is totally different. Uh, it it could be like that, and the the solution is to to manage the the sums of of the values of the data, and we have this kind of this this kind of verification in uh, in uh, in our application. Okay, so. Um... I would like to know also, you mentioned a, a little bit of that before, uh, you said that your application, like you said now, it's safe, uh, it's simple, uh, clients get notification about how the currency changes. So what are the other advantages that can make people want to use your application, use your service? Uh... I can I can tell you what we have now and what we'll have in the future. <laughs> yeah, of because course. because we are in a development process and application version one zero uh, show shows the customer uh, where he where he is with his position where is the risk, uh, but uh, and this is uh, simply safe but not very comprehensive. Uh, the comprehensive will be the the the, um, the additional the, the additional description 
uh, of our service 2.0. Uh, and uh, in this in this description, I understand that we have the connector uh, between our application and ERP system from customer to get the data automatically uh, in the, and uh, see this data in real time and opportunity to integrate the, our application with uh, many different different ERP systems. That's the first that's the first uh, first model and part of comprehensive system. But the second thing is the part when the where the customer can uh, can uh, can order the transactions uh, and to, and buy the derivatives to to save his position. And uh, my dream uh, and comprehensive application will be version maybe two zero. I hope to zero, not three point zero, <laughs> like a bridge. I mean the dashboard in the middle. Uh, the first uh, hand in a processes uh, in a process in a company processes and second hand in a, in a, in a banking institution in a, some uh, some financial institutions to get the exchange risk and to prepare some kind of scenarios but uh, i think we'll 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 we we'll talk about uh, scenarios and and uh, some kind of troubles or or big 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 things in this application uh, uh, in this project a bit later yes yes we will talk about that so let's focus on another topic that i'm really interested and want to know something more because like we know today's world is really changing we have global economic trends we have geopolitical developments and many other different factors so what strategies that your startup employ to stay updated with all that trends trends with all mm -hmm. that changes developments that that may impact exchange rate uh Exchange rate, uh, the level of, uh, of exchange rate, the sources of, of level of exchange rate uh, are, mm, hmm, or maybe maybe different 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 way. Uh, we have a lot of sources uh, which uh, which figure the ex the final exchange rate. We have the, the the markets in in the countries. We have the, the some kind of sentiment on, on the world. We have the the indices from from every from every market, and it borders the exchange rate uh, every day, every minute, every second, and. Uh, of course, uh, the final customer wish to see some kind of prediction, but it's very hard to predict uh, the exchange rate in the future because, as I said, we have a lot of sources. Uh, sort sources uh, impacts the 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 level of of uh, exchange rate, and then uh, this is this is very hard. But that's the only first first uh, first chapter uh, the second chapter is the regulation and the law and uh, export is a company which help uh, businesses to automate the processes calculate the risk and show in real time what the level of the risk and if we don't and and this is the the end this is the the soft end let, let's say this way why because we can help calculate the business model and stop this service in this point why because after that uh, we have regulation risks what i what does it mean it doesn't mean that we that if we want to predict some exchange rate and if we if we want if we wish to offer to the customer some kind of advisory some kind of um, some kind of uh, insights what he should do with what kind of instruments we are with the business in a different different area uh, this is this is typical investment business and this kind of business requires uh, the specific uh, licenses uh in a global regulator in poland or maybe in every country where the application uh, is 
and i think a lot of a lot of uh, people who predict what will happen of course we have ai we have uh, neural networks and we can we can uh, predict using only these instruments but it will be still in from looking from a regulator perspective it will be not regulated uh, business and uh, if you have not regulated business in a regulate in a regulation in a, in area where legal regulation is the is the first fundament oh sorry the business uh, has to go out from from this from this market and uh, we can't predict we can't uh, analyze it and we can't uh, send insights to customer to what he should do Yes, maybe if we'll have the application version 5.0, it will be real, it will be connected with this kind of service. But right now we cooperate with the the special company with uh, correct lights license, and they got they 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 got the customer. They get they are getting the customers from from uh, from our network, and they if customer wish to get this kind of services they offer this kind of services and i can i think i can summary that uh, that this is very comprehensive service because we are automate calculate and show in real time but the the company which have the correct license support customer what customers should do the Right now, this is this is comprehensive service, but in two companies, because regulation is the key. Okay, and um, I have a question: How yeah. fast your clients can get notification in case that some currency change? I don't know the um, level of the currency rate or. Um, go down because I think that for example when the war in Ukraine has started mm -hmm. how the um, economic market changed the currency changed so how fast your clients can get notification connected with some um, situation like that this is this is area um, uh, this is area of uh, of the company who has a specific uh, specific license um hold a second the brokerage the brokerage house the brokerage house has accurate license to to support customer in this way we can only calculate what kind of risk the customer has and support him to 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 send insight what is the currency position the second chapter or the second part as i said uh has to do brokerage house with correct license Okay, I see. So um, going uh, going on. So what are some? I think that um, every topic has some uh, myths, some misconceptions. So what are the most common myths or misconceptions connected with exchange rate? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the first that's the almost first issue, and this is the the, the first problem. Um, uh, what we have to force. <laughs> and uh, the typical typical uh, opinions uh, typical customer opinions on the beginning is there there is no value because if i calculate it uh, i will save it but if exchange rate goes in uh, in good direction i will not earn additional money because i will have <laughs> i will have uh, security uh, and uh, and and yes, there is no and, and customer always underline that there is no value because if exchange rate goes in good direction, I will not extra, I will not earn extra money. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the that's the first point. The second point is uh, if I don't count the value of a given risk, it means it doesn't exist. It's like cheating cheating uh, ourselves. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I don't have to see it. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> uh, th th this is typical th th typical explanation of the customer. I don't, I, I don't want to see it. Uh, yeah, that's the second thing. And the third thing is that if I don't hedge, I don't speculate. And and 
if I don't hedge, I don't speculate. And that's, uh, and this, this sentence is, I think, the most dangerous. Why? Because if you know that you have a risk and you don't hedge this risk, you don't buy the security on the risk to be safe, well, come on, you speculate. You speculate if you if you this is like this I, I can compare this 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 uh, this issue to to insurance of the car. Uh, okay, you you don't have to buy the the additional uh, in um, insurance, but usually people buy it. Uh, but in a business, if we don't see the the exchange rates and we don't know what is the level of the risk, uh, people usually say that. I don't have, if I don't hedge, I don't speculate, but they speculate because they play with the market that they profit will be more than they, they wish to get. Yes, I see. So I understand that the uh, myths and the misconception are quite funny for you. I can think that it's, um, maybe not funny for the customer, but for you and looking at this for your point of view with your knowledge about all of that, it has to be quite funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. because uh, if you if you if you calculate the profit, what you want to get and if you see that if exchange rates will change, the, your profit goes down or goes up uh, and uh, in normal, in normal, in normal point of view, uh, if we know that, uh, we can think that maybe 50%, 50%, maybe let's ensure 50%. And that's typical strategy on the beginning. That let's let's uh, let's uh, let's secure, let's secure 50% of the risk. And with second 50%, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this, it's like a little game. Yeah, full this of is suspensions. The, the, exactly. T this is typical uh, typical investor on forex because we open the position with some uh, with some exchange rate and we wish to get the profit if the exchange rate go in good direction. And okay. That's typical. I think that's typical hazard. 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 Hazard is Polish word. Yes, or... I think so. Gambling. Typical gam gambling. Yes. So, uh, what was your idea? So, how the idea for the startup came from? What does the process of coming up with the idea for that uh, business look like? Uh, I can tell you the truth. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> I, lo I lost a lot of money uh, related to exchange rate risk. And unfortunately, uh, I didn't know that, uh, that I have the currency position issue in my business. I didn't realize that, uh, that I can lost that that high that that high value because normally if you have the business you focus on the sales 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 but in, in the background you have this kind of processes and and the changing and the changes of exchange rates can bother your profitability and and <laughs> and you can you can push a lot of a lot of activity to to increase the sales but if you if you uh, if you didn't, if you don't understand that security is the key uh, to get your grow, uh, unfortunately, you can calculate someday that you lose a lot of money, and it was my case. Uh, and I had to, I had to educate myself a lot. Uh, I decided to to go on uh, master of business administration studies to 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 get uh, knowledge from the university. And I decided to to map the process and uh, try to try to collect and put correct puzzles uh, to correct places to to manage the process and uh, and get the knowledge from indexes indexes uh, based on the process. And I did it. And I did it someday. <laughs> and you get it. You did it yeah, correctly. Exactly. 
So, uh, what was the inspiration for the name of the startup? <laughs> That's simple. X is from exchange, uh, like exchange the currencies. That's the typical issue. Uh, typical issue, and court is like perfect, perfect sound, uh, perfect sound, uh, which is which which is mixed from uh, from a lot of lot of single tunes. And usually, uh, if you if you hear the chord, uh, it's something nice, something something um, something something nice, something sounds good. And X exchange with chord, and don't don't hear the money losing scratch. <laughs> 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 this is this is the the. The explanation of the name of the company. <laughs> it's very catchy, I can say. It's very catchy, and I think that's a great appropriate for your uh, startup. And um, you have experience in running business, besides because besides uh, Xcord, you also have another business. So, yeah. if you had to start a company from the beginning one more time, uh, how would you do that? Uh on the big on the beginning uh, usually you have to believe that uh, that there is a value uh, in your activity uh, and the value uh, and people can see your value and can pay for for the value and and that's the main fundament i think of of every of every business uh, yeah yeah, 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 I think that that's the most important, and of course, the next steps uh, depends where we are. If we are to build a distribution channel, uh, to to be to build a five, uh, some kind of cap table of this business, or 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 update this this services, uh, prepare good pricing, etc., etc., etc. But the first thing is to believe that that in the product or the service, there is a value uh, and customer will pay for the value. So is... that was also great advice, I think, for all the people who are listening that. And um, start as we all know, startups has to grow and startup has to develop. So what are your plans for the future connected with your startup? Uh, right now, uh, mm, right now, uh, we are in the process, uh, in a few processes, uh, mm, in helping uh, companies to uh, to digitalize the processes uh, in uh, in their companies, and uh, this kind of knowledge built our application net next steps because uh, uh, we decided to to build our product our services our pricing our vision etc uh, related to 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 customer experience and uh, more customers mean more, means more experiences. More experiences means better product. Better product means better value. Better value means higher, higher subscription. <laughs> 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 yeah, and 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 um, we are on we are on the step where we are working uh, working with the customers. Uh, right now, we have very good opportunity in Poland because European Union money uh, are on the market, and uh, companies are getting the the grants to finance uh, to to finance this kind of uh, this uh, this kind of development. And and yes, that's the that that's the that's the step and and time uh, which is very very uh, very very nice very nice because the customer appreciate the the knowledge appreciate the commitment appreciate uh, all these activities what we do around the customer. So yeah, I think that it's the most uh, important and. It's like the biggest award when the customer compelling and like what you do, like your services. Yeah, I think so. So uh, what was the hardest part of running a startup? Uh, 
the hardest part is uh, was to find the correct suit. Correct suit uh, because uh, because on the beginning uh, I had to um, see what will happen in next five or ten years and. And the correct suit, correct size, uh, I mean, um, this is some kind of metaphor, of course, but I mean that uh, we have to, I have to decide about formal, uh, formal, uh, uh, formal type of the company. I had to decide about cap table. I had to decide about steps of investment slots. I have to decide about about investment investors or investments policy and how to get the external capital to to build this very fast scalable business and uh, the this kind of this is like um, <laughs> the metaphor is very good in my opinion because you have to prepare the suit for this occasion and sometimes if you go to let's say if you go to the to the uncle uh, on some party you have to get oh, doesn't matter <laughs> what kind of suit but in this case we have a lot of requirements uh, and we have to prepare the suit how the company uh, has to will look in a, in a, in a, in a business world and how the the company uh, of course external people uh, will see on the company and they say come on this is not professional if you are if you are one man company typical like 95 95 in, in poland come on you are not look serious uh, if if uh, if the capital uh, will uh, would be if 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 the capital is on very low level it's not serious next thing and and uh, the suit I think that's very good word. The suit has to be uh, has to be accurate to the purpose, to the uh, market, and to the people uh, what are on the market and around the company. Okay, I see. And uh, like you like you said, it even seems to be really hard part of running a startup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you imagine that because you have to have some belt, some color of the belt, uh, uh, a lot of details. A lot of details yes. has to be accurate for for the party, for the for the people where you are. <laughs> I think it's very single, very straight, uh, straight there, the straight comparison with with this kind of <laughs> I think people. this is one of the better metaphor I heard about <laughs> the hardest part and the different aspects of running startup it's really accurate mm -hmm. so yeah uh, and, you, and you know and and I decided to 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 prepare some suit and in my plan uh was the the issue what the the name of the issue was cap table capital mechanisms how to prepare this issue and what i should do to prepare this uh, this uh, this schedule uh, and what be, uh, and at that time i didn't know a lot about it when thought what i did i go to the special uh, special doctor of economy to singapore who has a lot of experience to help companies go on the on the market and uh, and I got the, the the knowledge from from the Singapore how how I should prepare this kind of business because if we are talking about exchange rate exchange rates and currencies this is not only Polish business not only European business it's a global business if if I have the, the the global perspective I have to have global knowledge from the best place on the world from the best people of course this is so the it's a really great background for your company to have a big knowledge you like you said you are a global startup so you have to know every single currency every single thing connected with every country in the world oh 
Yes, generally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, yes, that's all. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but but you know, but very, it's very the, 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 my schedule. I, I didn't know that it it works like that because uh, after two, three, four years, uh, I discovered that. Come on, I know almost every CEO of Polish banks personally. Uh, after four, uh, after after I think after f five years, I knew the 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 man who was approximately twenty five years on Wall Street. And and you know the network is the is is very important thing in this kind of business. So that really sounds amazing. It sounds like a recipe for a perfect working startup. <laughs> yeah. So um, at the end of our conversation, I have the last question for you. So um, you have the big experience in running different businesses. So what is your advice for the future CEOs of startup? Uh, no fear. No fear, and and, and uh, my thinking is very close to to Richard Branson thinking that you have to you have to make a fun, you have to teach yourself, and you have to deliver some value to the people. And if you if you get this free the free this free points, uh, the money will come. So thank you very much for our conversation, for your advice, for all, all your advices, because I think that in our conversation was few of them. So uh, thank you very much. One more time, Robert Tarantowicz, CEO and founder of Xchart Startup was here with me today. So thank you very much for being thank my you guest. Much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.